Merry Christmas, you guys. Today we are making this extremely incredible Santa Claus hat cake. Oh, uh, look at that. Look how luxurious that looks. Doesn't that look fluffy as all heck? I love the way this turned out, so let's get started. I know you guys are probably like, it's still just November. Why are you starting so early? Because I got a lot of ideas, all right? And I'm only allowed to post two times a week. I got like two a week times seven, wait, two months. So like times, that's a lot of videos, you guys. And also, I know some of you guys are watching this in August and I'm not judging. It's fine. Let's get to the cake. So to create this cake, I am starting with my PVC pipe system. And you've seen this footage already because this is the same footage that's on my, <laughs> my seal cake as well as I think the mermaid tail cake that I created. Now I shot this cake last Christmas, but I ran out of time to post it, which is why I'm starting early this year some of the footage was missing so I had to go to other videos grab that footage because it was very similar and I'm just using it for this as well but I used the same cake so it works out fine now to create this hat I'm actually not gonna build it this high I realized later on that I wanted the top of the hat to flop over so I just cut away the top layer of cake as well as the top of the PVC pipe I know, I'm sorry you guys, but it's about the same shape. I'm gonna cover my entire cake with red fondant. This is a really nice red. Now I'm not just using red fondant out of the package, I mixed it with just like a hint of black to give it a darker feel. I felt like that would be a little bit more luxurious. Now there is a seam at the back of this cake Look how disgusting this seam looks. <laughs> but that's okay because we're gonna hide it. I'm gonna hide it, I promise you. I would not let this fly if I couldn't hide it. <laughs> I'm adding a triangle of fondant to the top of my cake and just blending it into the existing fondant to create the top of the hat. I'm covering the seam so that you won't be able to see it. See, look at that. No more disgustingness. I'm just gonna blend it in with some fondant tools. Now, I wanted my hat to have a lot of texture like it was a real hat that was just folded over. So I'm using fondant tools as well as a fondant roller to create some fabric lines. I want this to look like a real hat, not a cake. Now you guys already know that I create a ton of cakes on this channel. I create more cakes than I have time to edit entire videos for. And so I created a second channel called Mighty Mix. M-I-I-I-G-H-T-Y. This channel is really just gonna highlight the range that I have as a cake decorator. But for the month of December, I'm just going to be showcasing all of my favorite Christmas and holiday cakes over the years, as well as all of my frozen content. Baby Olaf cake, you guys. You're not ready. <laughs> and because of the more simple format, I will be taking a lot more requests on that channel. So if there are characters and cakes that you wanna see, even just compilations of characters and cakes that you wanna see, then let me know in the comments. There'll be links in the description box as well as at the end of the video so you can subscribe. It is basically Kuali Pops, but no face, just all of my hands. Now let's get back to the cake. Now with a paring knife, I'm cutting away the excess fondant and the base of my cake was complete. Now again, I'm going for luxury, you guys. That's what I want. So I decided to paint my cake with a coat ruby red luster dust. Just mix it with a little bit of magic sauce and worked my way all the way around the cake. Look at that. Look how lush that is. To add more detail, I'm using a maroon luster dust, which is just red luster dust with a little bit of black, and just painting some holiday swirls all around my cake. I love the way this looks. And 
And I'm also adding on some red pearl sprinkles just to add some more luxury. How much would this hat be? This is definitely not a hat you find at the 99 cent store, which is usually where I buy my Christmas hats. <laughs> now I'm adding a stick on and just placing on a huge piece of white fondant to create the end of my Christmas hat. And then I'm wrapping <laughs> this huge piece of white fondant to create the rim. <laughs> it's a, that is a ton of white fondant. I know, I was gonna go for like a thinner piece early on, but it didn't look as fluffy. And again, it didn't look as luxurious. So that's why I went for a thick piece. It's a lot, you guys. Judge me, I don't care. I wanted it to look super fluffy. And then I start to add a lot of things. We got some pearl sprinkles. We have some white six slits. Um, I just wanted a lot of different sizes balls to add some texture. Voila, my luxurious Santa Claus hat was complete. You like it? Oh look, I even painted the cake board green. Too lazy to do that now. You can tell this is an old video because my set looks old. But I still have the Ferris wheel. I wish this was a real hat so I could wear it. This looks as glamorous a hat as the one Tim Allen wears in the Santa Claus. Maybe even more so. I hope you guys are ready for all of the Christmas cakes that I got coming your way. I wanted to get all of my old footage out early so I can show you the new stuff as soon as I can. Just extremely excited that all of the old footage from last year looks glorious because I got a sleigh coming your way that is out of this world. It's kind of on par with the Cinderella carriage cake that I created. It's, I haven't made anything this glamorous in so long. Now I hope you guys enjoyed this. Merry Christmas, happy August. I see you, I know you're watching in August. I love you guys, I will see you very soon. Peace.